Welcome back! In the last video, we talked about keywording and how it provides a valuable insight into unifying our design and helps create cohesion along the design process. Now let's reverse this concept. Instead of keywords, inspiration images work in the opposite manner. They show us visual concepts that we then apply to our mental catalog of words that we associate with that image. Research estimates that 80 to 85% of our perception, learning, cognition, and activities are mediated through vision. Because of this, visual information we gather provides a huge boost to how we perceive the world. Much like our keywording exercise, I'm going to expose you to words that will trigger images in your mind. Dog. When I said dog, what kind of dog did you think of? How about when I say flower? What did you think of? A flower, right? But what kind of flower? A rose? A tulip? An orchid? Why did you think of that versus any other type of flower? Now let's flip around this exercise. If I were to show you an image of a running athlete, you may have a series of words that populate into your mind that indicate your assumptions about that image, such as fast, run, strong, and so on. Likewise, if I show you a set of icons that evoke emotions, you can easily understand the emotions in your mental catalog of words. Your brain is finding words that associate to a particular look and feel. Because you're doing this in your brain, it happens almost instantaneously at 10 to 100 milliseconds, just faster than the blink of an eye. With inspiration images, we can use them to extract our own assumptions about the thing we're looking at. By selecting images that resonate with us, we're getting the closest we can to answering a truth from the gut about how a solution might look, and furthermore, or come closest to answering why it should look a certain way. By matching these against well-founded research, it gives us an answer that reads as a logical conclusion to the problem, at least as far as aesthetics go, if not functionality. There are plenty of places to gather inspiration imagery. The most obvious place you might think to go would be the internet, but don't let that be your stopping point. Libraries have great books with amazing images that can be copied for your reference. Parks and outdoors can yield all sorts of cool things to see as well. Chances are in your pocket you have a phone with a camera. You can visually record things that speak to inspire your design by taking photos of the things you find relevant to your project. Go on walks and find things that exist out in the real world. Take note of the curves you might see on a stray leaf or a unique branch. Look at buildings in your community, go to the zoo, look at public art sculptures, go to the grocery store and look at the fruit and the way the surface shines and flows. While you're there, grab some lunch and come back home and make yourself an inspiration board with the images that you feel are most relevant. The key here is to gather images that both complement your keywords and they feel like they inform your design in a way that you couldn't just pluck out of the air. The more you back your solution or design up with research, keywords, and inspiration, the more grounded and informed your designs will become. Another important aspect of inspiration images is that they provide valuable reference. The best artists and designers in the world pull truth and metaphor from the world around us. Nature has had 13 billion years to get it right. You're not going to do better than that. Think of Leonardo da Vinci in his drawings. He wasn't drawing from an uninformed point of view. He took observation to the extremes and used his eyes to record directly to his sketchbooks. By recording what he saw, he was able to come up with the most amazing discoveries and inventions just by looking and observing. Pay attention to the world around you. You might just discover something new and inspirational. Send me some of your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about using inspiration images as a way to help better inform your design. Thanks so much. See you next time.